So a few weeks ago I was out riding and I did this. And that resulted in a trip to the hospital to find out that I had actually cracked a rib on this side over here. So a couple weeks of rest, starting to feel a little bit better. You know, it's still a little bit tender, but I think I can manage it. I go out for a ride and I do this. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I landed on my rib. And that actually was the second time that week that I'd crashed on that same corner. So annoying. That stupid corner. But anyways, the good news is on the second crash, I was wearing my G-Form padded jersey. And I bought this thing after the first crash because it has padding right here around your rib area. And this is not healed yet. It's still pretty tender, and so I want to kind of protect it as much as I can. And so that's why I bought this G-Form jersey. And so in this video, I wanted to give you a quick review of what I think of the G-Form jersey, as well as their knee pad and elbow pads. So um, you might be familiar with the G-Form product. They have kind of a unique product in that they have these um, padded cells here that are filled with this material that is soft to the touch, but then when, they, when you hit it, it hardens up. They have a, they have a G Form has this video you've probably seen online with them putting like Smarties under their pads and hitting it and showing that the Smarties are still fine. And um, so the good thing about that is it's not like a hard shell, um, which is which is rigid. This thing is actually quite flexible. You can kind of fold these things down like next to nothing. And I really like that because I don't like wearing pads when I'm climbing because I get hot really easily. So what I usually do is I just fold these things up, put them in my backpack, and then when I'm about to descend, then I take them out and I put them on. So I really am pretty happy overall with the G-Form product. Um, I like the fact that they're lightweight. I like the fact that the material is pretty thin. It's kind of hot, but I mean, I think all pads are going to be hot no matter no matter what, right? But the material is thin enough here. It doesn't feel like you're wearing like a, like a hockey pad or anything like that, you know? And uh, this material, I mean, I haven't had a major crack with these so I can't really say if they work or not. I hope I actually never find out how well they work but uh, I gotta say that when I crashed the other day um, and hit, I hit the exact same spot on this side that I where I broke it and uh, uh, I don't feel too bad today. So I'm thinking that maybe the G-Form pad really worked on that crash and, and prevented more damage to my ribs. So, so that's really great. So I really like, like I said, like they're really, um, really nice and compact. One thing about the G-Form products I find a bit strange is their sizing, their sizing chart seems to be a little bit off. Like this is um, a, an extra large. This is an extra large. And like, look at me. Like, do I look like a dude who buys extra large anything? Like, I'm 145 pounds, 5'10". I'm as skinny as this tripod that's holding my camera up. Um, the only extra... I never buy anything extra large, you know, except condoms. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, but... Um, I bought originally bought a medium and then it was too small so I bought a large and it's too small and I bought extra large and then this one kind of fits and so I don't know if you're like a regular sized dude you might have to go for like a triple extra large or something because I found that the knee pad and the elbow pad is like really really small and especially I noticed it when I bought like their jersey so this is the jersey I bought look at this thing this looks like a kid's jersey how small this thing is um, but what's interesting is if you look on the, the, the sizing chart on their website it says like for your for this jersey, your chest measurement is 36 to 40. That's a medium. So I measured myself. I'm at 38, right in the middle. So I thought, oh, great. This, is, this has got to fit. But when I put this thing on, this thing is so crazy tight. I couldn't believe how tight it was. And I'm not sure if it's supposed to be this tight. Maybe it is because then it keeps the pads in the right spot and they don't move around but I found it would be so uncomfortable to ride with something so tight. I literally feel like I'm wearing like saran wrap or something like that. It just, like, it just felt really, really uncomfortable, um, this small size. So then I ordered the next size up, which is the large, and you can see that this obviously fits a little bit more loose than the, the medium does, um, but I find it to be still pretty accurate and fairly good and keeping the pads at where they, where they should be and it doesn't really move around at, at, at all actually. Yeah, so I don't know what the deal is with the G-Form size chart there. I think if you're going to order these products, 
uh, order a size maybe one or two larger than what you normally would. Um, and wherever you order them from, make sure they have a really good refund policy so you can send it back if it doesn't fit. But other than that, I'm really happy with them. Uh, like I said, they're, they're really lightweight. They fold up. I can just put it in my, ba- my backpack. And then when I'm going downhill, I don't even notice them at all. They're so lightweight and so flexible, you don't even notice them at all until you crash. <laughs> and then you're like, thank God I wore my pads today. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, if you're a beginner rider, I really suggest like getting pads or looking into some kind of protection because it gives you a boost of confidence. And then uh, on, the, on the off chance that you do go down, you will be glad that you're wearing pads. So anyways, um, that's it. That's my review of the G-Form pads. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next video.